Stephen Adler was born Michael Coletti in Cleveland, Ohio to an Italian-American father Michael Coletti and a Jewish-American mother Deanna. After his father left the family, his mother moved with her children to Los Angeles, California. Adler was originally named after his father at birth, but his mother renamed him Stephen when she returned to her parents because Jewish naming conventions forbid naming children after living relatives. He took his mother's surname after she married Melvin Adler, who adopted her two oldest children. He has one older brother Kenny, and a younger half-brother Jamie. Adler grew up in the San Fernando Valley until the age of 13 when he was sent to live with his grandparents in Hollywood due to his bad behavior. While attending Bancroft Junior High School, Adler befriended Saul Hudson later known as Slash. They met when Adler had a skateboarding accident, and Slash stopped to help him. After ninth grade, Adler returned to his parents' house in the valley for the remainder of high school, during which time he learned to play drums. After his return to Hollywood in 1983, Adler auditioned for Sunset Strip Staple London. When the audition proved unsuccessful, he formed the band Road Crew named after the Motorhead song The Road Crew with his childhood friend Slash. They placed an advertisement in a newspaper looking for a bassist and received a response from Duff McKagan. They auditioned a number of singers, including one-time Black Flag vocalist Ron Reyes, and worked on material that included the main riff of what would become the Guns N' Roses song Rocket Queen. Slash disbanded the group the following year due to their inability to find an adequate lead vocalist, as well as Adler's laziness compared to himself and McKagan. Adler then briefly joined a local band known as Hollywood Rose, which featured singer Axl Rose and guitarist Izzy Stradlin. In June 1985 Adler joined Guns N' Roses which was newly founded by Axl Rose, Izzy Stradlin, Tracy Guns, Old Bike and Rob Gardner. After the original drummer Gardner quit, Adler and Slash joined their former road crew bandmate Duff McKagan to complete the lineup. They played nightclubs such as the Whiskey A Go Go, the Roxy and the Troubadour, and opened for larger acts throughout 1985 and 1986. After being scouted by several major record labels, the band signed with Geffen Records in March 1986. In July 1987 Guns N' Roses released its debut album Appetite for Destruction, which to date has sold over 30 million copies worldwide, 18 million of which were in the United States, making it the best-selling debut album of all time in the US. In December during a tour with Alice Cooper, an intoxicated Adler broke his hand when he punched a streetlight after a barroom brawl. Fred Corey of Cinderella was brought in as his substitute for several shows until he recovered. In November 1988 Guns N' Roses released GNR Lies which sold over 5 million copies in the US alone. Despite containing only 8 tracks, 4 of which were included on the previously released EP Live Like a Suicide. Adler was again absent during a performance at the American Music Awards in January 1989, Don Henley filled in for him on drums. His absence was originally attributed to a case of the flu, but it was later revealed that Adler had been in a drug rehabilitation program at the time. The following October during a show as opening act for the Rolling Stones, Axel Rose threatened to leave the band if certain members of the band did not stop dancing with Mr. Brownstone a reference to their song of the same name about heroin use. Adler was among those who promised to clean up, but he continued to struggle with his addiction. Adler was briefly fired from the band over his drug use in early 1990, but he was reinstated after signing a contract in which he vowed to stop taking drugs. However, by the time the band entered the studio to record the song Civil War, his addiction had become so severe that he was unable to perform. By Adler's own admission he tried to play the song 20 maybe 30 times. The song's drum track had to be heavily edited for his bandmates to be able to play along with it, when problems in the studio continued causing recording sessions to abort for several days at a time. Adler was formally fired from Guns N' Roses on July 1990. He had played his final show with the band on April 7 at Farm Aid. Izzy Stradlin who left the band in November 1991, later stated that replacing Adler with Matt Sorum of the cult had a big impact on the band's sound. Following his departure from Guns N' Roses, he was one of several drummers who auditioned to join ACDC. However, Adler claims that ACDC manager withdrew an offer. Following Axl Rose announcing Adler's firing and branding him a drug addict on stage at the MTV Video Music Awards in September 1990, Adler instead reformed Road Crew with a new lineup consisting of former Vane members singer Davey Vane, 
guitarist Jamie Scott, and bassist Ashley Mitchell, along with guitarist Sean Rory. They recorded an album and attracted attention from a major label, but due to Adler's persistent drug problems, the group disbanded shortly thereafter. A year after his dismissal in July 1991, Adler filed a lawsuit against his former Guns N' Roses bandmates, contending that he was fired because the opiate-blocking drug he had been taking to aid his detox interfered with his concentration. He also alleged that the contract he had been made to sign took away his financial interest in the band. On May 1995, Adler was arrested at his home in Calabasas on a felony charge of heroin possession. In 1996, Adler suffered a stroke and was briefly comatose after taking a particularly potent speedball, a cocktail of heroin and cocaine used intravenously, which caused a temporary paralysis of the left side of his face, resulting in a speech impediment. The following year he pleaded no contest to disturbing the peace in relation to a domestic violence charge involving a woman with whom he had been living, he was sentenced to four days in jail, three years probation, and mandatory drug counseling. In 2003, Adler formed the band Suki Jones, later renamed Adler's Appetite. With an ever-changing lineup due to members' previous commitments, the band toured the US and Europe throughout 2003 and 2004, playing mostly songs off Guns N' Roses' debut album Appetite for Destruction, as well as material by Aerosmith, Led Zeppelin and Queen. In September 2003 Adler's Appetite performed a show at the Key Club in Hollywood, where they were joined on stage by Adler's former Guns N' Roses bandmate Slash and Izzy Stradlin, for renditions of Mr. Brownstone, Paradise City and Knockin' on Heaven's Door. In 2008 Adler participated in the second season of the reality TV show Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. The show's resident medical expert Drew Pinsky regarded Adler as the problem child of the group. He described his behavior as suicidal and revealed that Adler had to be committed to a psychiatric hospital for two weeks prior to entering rehab. Adler also participated in the first season of the celebrity rehab spin off Sober House. During the show's filming in July, an intoxicated Adler became so aggressive towards his castmates that he was arrested at the Sober House premises. He was convicted of being under the influence of a controlled substance and sentenced to community service. The following January, he was arrested again for failure to complete his community service in the time frame stipulated by the judge. In 2011, Adler formed a new band simply called Adler with guitarist Lonnie Paul, who had been a member of Adler's Appetite prior to the breakup, and singer-guitarist Jacob Bunton of Linham, and formerly of Mars Electric, with the lineup later rounded out by former LA Guns member Johnny Martin, on bass. On April 2012 Adler was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the classic lineup of Guns N' Roses, he headlined the induction ceremony with fellow inductees Slash, Duff McKagan, and Matt Sorum, as well as former member Gilby Clark and Slash collaborator Miles Kennedy. Adler stated that being inducted was an honor and a dream come true. In late October and early November 2012 Adler played on the Kiss Cruise, which sailed from Florida to the Bahamas, these shows marked the band's first ever live performances. The following year, Adler's scheduled US tour was postponed when Adler checked into a rehab facility to continue working on his sobriety.